G'day guys, Edmonton Tam here. Today uh, we're going to learn about the new um, global illumination options in the direct lighting render kernel. Now, uh, in my render kernels, uh, the theory, I said that you could somehow fake path tracing with direct lighting. However, that method that I saw in a post was extremely di well, wasn't extremely difficult, but there was a lot of parameters yet, yet that you had to uh, choose. The uh, programmers of Octane Render have made it much more simple to do this, and I'm going to show you how they changed it. Alright, so here is direct lighting. Okay, so here is so this is the standard direct lighting. Um, direct lighting isn't quite photorealistic, so um, it really isn't. It really isn't the ideal rendering the uh, re render kernel for final um, clients work now if you see here there's a GI mode currently it is at ambient occlusion now if you click this there's none ambient sample environment ambient occlusion and diffuse each one is uh, better than the other so if we click one there is very little global illumination, just a stand. It looks like a blender internal renderer. No offense. You can also change. You can change the diffuse depth. Uh, which doesn't really make uh, much. Or oh, it does make a difference. But for this one, it doesn't really. Uh, for ambience. As you can see, there's some uh, global illumination, but it isn't uh, much powerful and much realistic. You can also change the uh, diffuse depth and the RR prob for making it a bit more better. And you can also change this, overclock these settings. But um, for speed's sake, I'm not going to. But if you overclock these, then it will be better. Uh, sample environments is a lot more is a bit more better than global nation and with these these the settings are still overclocked uh, the one that we uh, that the fault is ambient occlusion and as you can see we're getting a much more realistic result and for the next one diffuse is the closest you can get of faking path tracing. Okay guys, so sorry about that, I had to uh, change my settings a bit. Um, I was getting a bit slow. So, um, right now, uh, this is the diffuse mode. Um, if we compare this, so let's just re let this render out for a few seconds. Alright, so just pause it, and let's render a NPG. Now we're going to change the uh, change this to path tracing. Okay, so now we're going to uh, render this out path tracing, and now we're just going to go to our folder. Now we're going to do a bit of a compare. So if I go to GI, all right. So this is GI on the fourth version and this is path tracing so they're, ex they're almost the same however as you can see here this is um, this is global nation this is path tracing as you can see here there's some caustics that's shown here um, it's trying really hard to show some caustics here the actual lighting on the chairs is um, a lot more lighter see how it's very light here and then boom much more lighter here and there's some caustics over here due to the glossy uh, chairs. So if I just keep on pressing this back and forth there's definitely some a uh, little bit of color blending acoustics in the uh, path tracing. So uh, yes um, that is the new Global Nations uh, options. It is uh, pr pretty slow um, but like I said it was just implemented but there's um, apparently uh, it's going to be about 10 times faster than it already is and uh, hopefully it will help you in your clients work.
Thank you and see ya.